This is Damon Romine. I'm here at the Queer Lounge in Park City, Utah, and I'm with Kyle Buchanan, who is a film critic for The Advocate. Kyle, you've been here all week at Sundance. Tell us a little bit about some of the, the great stuff you've seen. Uh, there have been some really good movies this year, and I'm sad because I'm going to be leaving without seeing a couple. Uh, I just hosted a panel that featured the director and star of Push, based on a novel by Sapphire which is the one that everyone is talking about. It's fantastic, it's striking, it's amazing. And uh, and some other highlights of the week? Um, you know, there have been a lot of, as far as gay films go, it's been really interesting because there have been a lot of themes about, that, that they're not necessarily gay films, but there are characters who have more fluid sexuality than normal. Uh, we saw Dare, which has, um, there's a bad boy job character who's sort of receptive to advances from both sexes. Um, I've seen that in The Informers. Um, uh, there's another film called Everything Strange and New, even Philip Morris to a certain extent. It, it starts with a lot of characters who are straight and then things go in different directions. That's a, definitely a motif here. And regarding some of the LGBT films that we're, that we're seeing, uh, what's distribution look like? Are we, is it looking good for these things? Well, what I like about the ones that I've been seeing is that um, they are very mainstream and beautifully shot. Um, and I would be surprised based on the level of star quality and just the, the buzz that they have uh, if they don't get picked up. Sometimes you see really good films, but they're smaller. These are high profile, whether you like it or not, you know? Push, which still hasn't found a distributor, and uh, hopefully will, maybe even by the time this goes online. Uh, there's no way you can not see a movie that features Mariah Carey, Lenny Kravitz, Sherry Shepard, Monique. That is going to be in theaters at some point, and so will a lot of these. I love you, Philip Morris. Jim Carrey, Ewan McGregor, you'll see it at some point. And outside of Sundance, as far as the uh, the prospects for the, the coming year, the coming couple of years in development of LGBT films, are you hearing about things as milk sort of spurred storytelling? I wish it had. I feel like we still live in a vacuum when it comes to these success stories. Um, after Brokeback Mountain, people expected something. It didn't have to be huge. And nothing really came until Focus Again, who made Brokeback Mountain, made milk. Now I'm waiting for the next step. And the only thing I really know of is Focus Again, Hang Lee Again, who has a film called out, coming out later this year called T Taking Woodstock, which isn't even necessarily a gay film, but the lead character is incidentally gay and has uh, sexual relationships in the movie. So I would like to hope that eventually it'll make a difference. I don't think it'll necessarily make a difference on the studio level. I think independent films might have an easier time of it, but the studios are not going to make a big gay Pirates of the Caribbean, or at least Pirates of the Caribbean is as gay as it's going to get. And that's what's sort of interesting about I Love You, Philip Morris, and hopefully we'll find a distributor that it really is a star vehicle, and uh -huh. you've got uh, you know, three, three named people starring in this film, and hopefully that will get some attention to it. It's a madcap Jim Carrey comedy, and you wouldn't expect such a high-profile movie to be at Sundance, but i got to say, it's probably because of the gay thing, and it's not an element where any punches are pulled. You know, there is kissing. There is things that are more graphic than kissing. Yeah, there are some things that so, are more graphic. So we'll see when a distributor does pick it up if they're just going to use that for, you know, a little bit of press and buzz or if they're going to cleave it back some. Which is also a great thing about getting to go to the festivals. You often see things, versions of things, that you're not going to see them in that version again. Well, Kyle, it's been great spending the week with you here at Sundance, and we will see you back in L.A. Thanks for sharing your insight with us today. Happy to be here.